Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Out of Hands, which is a psychological horror card game where your body is made out of hands. In the night, I found myself to be made out of hands. Yeah, those are hands, all right. Now, the game description on the Steam page actually says, these are the hands of the developer. Look in the mirror. See how beautiful you've become. No. I can't. Face in the mirror. Don't worry. Look your heart. It beats so quickly. I like that. I like that, um, we have to pick in the heart. It's just a hand. My heart. Protect your heart. He was destined to die. Ah, oh, your hands. The desires. Use your hands. Grab a hold of what you can. Fight back. Drag your hand to the sharp pen. I'm just gonna highlight these real quick. How can vision rely on such a strange organ? You gaze into the mirror and fall into deep thought. The way these eyes are detected too, that's gonna like... Set some people off. I guess that's your nose. All your teeth are gone. Think about what makes your gums ache. Face in the mirror. Inner demon. A face consumed with pain. You can't look him in the eyes. It's a little bit of some fingers up there. When ink runs dry, I start stabbing everything with it. This is your left hand. Grab what you can to protect yourself. This is your heart. Your life depends on it. This is your right hand. Okay, but you can protect yourself. Can I actually grab my eyes, or...? No, okay. I just want to experiment a little bit. Attack it. Drag the sharp pen to your inner demon. Acting advances cards by one turn. Cards attack when timer hits zero. So we have Panic, Eraser, and Panic. Erasers can erase everything and nothing at all. Okay. There's one more turn left and they're gonna attack. Yeah, I can take out one Panic. Or you can go directly for the uh, face in the mirror. Ow. Now we can take one hand, and now there's three panics. Does this particularly matter which one I attack? I mean, this one's got like a lower cooldown. Though the panics just keep coming. Although we do, like I said, reset the cooldowns a little bit. Who's never a racer? Well, actually, the heart can grab stuff, too. Or I can attack. That's curious. What happens if I do this? Ah. Well, anyway. Attack that. Now, we are pretty f clear here to just go after the, uh... Yeah, just switch it out with an eraser. What happens if you try to grab- I'm, this is just- since it's a demo, I'm just experimenting a little bit to see what happens when I do certain things. I can just keep attacking and I win, basically. Drag your heart to your memory. So this is what the actual dragging your heart mechanic is. Listen to your inner thoughts. What's wrong with me? What's happening? You've turned into hands. Many, many hands. What does that mean? It means you're on a journey. Your hands claim your desires. No, I must be drooping. I want to wake up. Calm down. You must discover why you changed. 
or you'll be stuck in this loop forever. Reality Potion. Use your hands or heart. Touch the potion to heal. It makes you soberly aware of one fact that you are dreaming. Cryptic thoughts. Criminal in your mind. Chaotic and crazy. Obscure and fickle. Representing of your true emotions. Logical thoughts. Subconscious. A frequent visitor in your mind. Signified by calm, objective, and lawful thought compatible with the real world. Instinctive thoughts. Impulsive chaos that pushes you from behind with false affirmations and promises, blinding your judgment. Now uh, that's cryptic. What is all this? Out of the hands, we claim eternity. What do you mean? There's something you want but cannot have. Desire. Desire. There isn't anything I desire. Because you have forgotten, pain will remind you. What should I do? You do to experience this. Within your limits, of course. I don't understand. Seek your pain. Recall your memories. Instinctive thought. Use your hands and grab whatever you can. Prevail. Prevail? Yes. You can catch the truth with your hands. Don't stop. You must find the reason behind this nightmare. The reason for everything. Get me out of here. I want to wake up. Your journey has just begun. The shadow in the mirror moves ever more. Stay calm. It's back. The two panics. Inner demon, you always return. Endlessly, ceaselessly, forever. Let me get some sharp pens here. And we already have some eraser. So let's clear the crowd. We're out of erasers now. Let's get an eraser. Take you out. Spray. Oh, we can heal. Okay. And now we're gonna... Attack there. I can only take one. I'll take the sharp pen. We're still all rightish on health. Mm, let's clear out some of these crowds. Okay, so that way I at least have a replaceable item. Alright. Um, we safely attack. Because we can grab another sharp pen. And still be in the realm of clearing the field here. Now that I know what everything does, now it's just like, you know, just go for it, do things. Um, take this eraser. That does leave me a little bit vulnerable. I'm going to take you out. Because it does allow me to get another sharp pen. And take you out. Keep the fuel clear, keep my health be good. Attack. Take the spray or the sharp no. Um, I think we're gonna heal automatically after this anyway, so it's kinda like We don't necessarily need to do anything here. Because we're gonna win anyways. Huh. Nightmares. They all have a reason. You're afraid of having nightmares. You can't sleep, but you won't confront your fears. They will return endlessly, attempting to escape is futile. What is that shadow on my mirror? It's you. It's you, my love. Look him right in the eyes. Don't be afraid. You must see yourself clearly if you wish to awaken. 20 health now. Inner demon, I must accept the twisted person in the mirror, it's me. Confrontation eraser? He says damage dealt to inner demon by two, so it'd be four damage. Hmm. Well, 
let's burn that one right there. I want to grab this sharp pen. I'm going to actually do this. Clear this hand. Grab the confrontation eraser. Attack here. Because we have the leeway there. Attack this. Yeah, let's do this. Get an extra. I don't really want to, um... Waste the confront the sharp pen on that though, because there's two enemies here. I'm actually just gonna take the hit. Ow. Cause look, here's a spray anyways. Bam. And look, now we have sharp pens. That's uh, a lot of damage we can throw towards our way. Bam. Bam. And I'll take you out. Grab this sharp pen. Um, yeah, I might as well just take you out so I can use this. Concentration eraser. Sure, why not? Probably not really needed. I don't think we need to go to that level of strategy for this, but because uh, essentially we we could just get a killer and I don't care about this. But why not? Let's see if we can maintain that 14 health. And okay, let's finish this. The source of suffering. You can see, can you not? With your empty eyes. My eyes are fingers. Gaze into the mirror of the abyss. What is the origin of your nightmare? The end ring memory. This is the reason for your dreams. Can you remember? I think it's a memory. Remember her. Remember your past. Try to be rational. Keep your distance. She's dangerous. In danger, there's also fatal attraction. I remember. I turned these hands because of a woman. Her. Your dream is over, but you'll be back. Level cleared. Suppress memories. You turn to your never-ending nightmare. Out of hands. A blurry figure. A still of a woman, you can't see her clearly. Weary heart. This is your heart, your life depends on it. There's a ring inside now. I seem to remember, but I have forgotten it all. It must be a woman. A dangerous, fatal attraction. She seems like a fantasy. An illusion of the truth. You need to think of her, my love. No, stay away. Wake up, just wake up. Blurry figure. You know, do you mean you must defeat it? If you want to repay her, do it with the pain caused. I can't remember what she looks like. You are nothing but hands. A manifestation of desire. She's right in front of you. Mmm, that's a little interesting lore drop. Analyze your thoughts. Recall each moment. Something is wrong with your mind. Find her to find the cause. I can't remember her name. You have already begun to remember her figure. Follow her to the truth. Catch her. Sever this connection. End this. I don't know. The way they, the faces and portraits animate makes me think of like an old PC game. You know when they usually just had like a portraits box and it just kind of moved in place? I like that. I, I've always liked that system. I don't know why that kind of got phased out. It doesn't matter. Use your hands. Reach out, grab, and claw your way to the truth. Just do something. Hazy illusion. Em eliminated by any damage. Attack with any weapon. I'm assuming we still need like an eraser or a hand or something. Is 
because of our racer. Ooh, he's gonna do a ton of damage. I should clear him out while I still have ammo, basically. Okay, we have a backup eraser, so I do have leeway to, like, attack. Make sure I grab this. Yeah, because I can attack with the other hand if I have to. Attack this. Grab the eraser. Attack you. I think... Yeah, we're gonna get the kill. Is that our way? Damn. Her voice. Memory. Can you hear her voice? What voice? Her sounds. The sounds of her breathing, her speaking, her footsteps. No, I don't want to listen. Her voice affects your thoughts, disturbs your mind. I don't want to listen. So shout, scream, yell, drown it out with your own voice. While well, shouting, you feel your mouth undergoing inexplicable change. Choose nail mouth deviation. Oh yeah, because you get your fingernails in there now. Drag your mouth to deal, fret to deal one damage. My mouth. Do something, let some steam off. It's fine if you bite your nails, friend. So now we can always attack, guaranteed. Confused. Panic. Shaw pen. I'm gonna... Well, actually, no. Destroy, destroy. Okay, so we can always use this now to, like, make sure we clear out the illusions. I'm gonna grab this. And I have leeway here to, uh, attack. I'm gonna take this out, because this one actually needs damage. And I'll take you out so I can get this sharp pen. Thank you. And we'll use our mouth here. And we will start attacking the sharp pens here. There's a... I could grab that eraser. Nah, forget. Um, we can almost... I think we can get a kill here. Because three... If we can attack with the mouth, then we should be fine. But we'll have no ammo for the next round, which could be bad. So I'm just going to kill this real quick. So, curiosity. Okay, no. Use this. Her smile, memory. Her shadow lingers in your mind, wearing you down. Grating against your thoughts. Maybe it's my problem. I can't remember, but I feel like she's beautiful. With beauty comes pain. Do you not see her clearly? I can't. Ah, well then, you need a new pair of eyes. Your eyes aren't going to inexplicable change. What? Attacks deal one damage to frets adjacent to the target. Uh, so I'm assuming if it, it won't attack this, but it'll attack... Say if I attack the right one, it'll like attack this one? Hmm. Oh, we need ammo. It's like I called. And I will take you out with this mouth. Oh no, it, it just applies to the mouth itself. It's a passive. So that means our actual body now is actually pretty powerful. So we need to do that. Um, sharp pen. And we can take out two right here. And we got sharp pens all over the place. Go for it. No, 
do this. And do this. Take both out. Got an eraser. Take sharp pin with the main body. And we'll essentially we can just take you out. I keep trying to like be fancy, but like the game's not that hard yet. Her smell. She laid the bait. It was she who attracted you while keeping her distance. Oh no, when did we do? I can't remember her. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. No, focus. Look with your eyes, listen with your ears, smell with your nose. I can't hear clear your words, but her fragrance lingers. He's teasing you. Pounding. Active heal. When this card attacks your heart, the inner demon gains free health. Yeah, so we don't want that. Um, we have an eraser we can just grab here. So, I am actually going to attack this with my mouth. Because I'll put that one in um, kill range. Thank you. Take the sharp pen. Kill you while I have a chance. And we can attack this. Grab the other sharp pen. I should probably start clearing these out. Then we don't need to. Um... There we go. Burn some of my eraser. Let's see, you can do the one. Thank you. Sharp pen this. Attack the main body. Grab the sever sharp pen. Attack you. Freshen up my sharp pens. Bam, attack you. Freshen up my racers. Attack here. Because we essentially can get a kill. Bam. The look in her eyes. Fine, I can feel it. Finally. 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 The look in her eyes. It gives you an illusion of love. It makes you dependent on her. And it enchants you. It is all an illusion. A pipe dream. Emptiness. But my pain is real. I remember. And diary. Yes, this is her. That's, there's pain, yes, but also love. But the love ended years ago. My pain continues to this day. You need to find her. Embrace the real truth. Untie the knot. What's next? Next, in your carnal nightmare, you wake up. You return to the distant past, the land of dreams. Out of hands. Faithful heart. This is your heart your life depends on. There is a stamp inside. This diary will take you back to the past. The past is a great river. Wade into it. Follow the past. Find her. Let's get started. There's no more descriptions up here for these. It's just inner demon now. Don't let your memories be tainted by reality. What do you mean? Oh, you don't understand. You are in the memory. Memories are easily fabricated. Strong emotions leave deeper scars. Scars that can more easily deceive you. You must find her. It seems that you've returned to your days as a student. Is this real? <laughs> it's a mere memory from your past. Another nightmare. Tread carefully here. Alter your memories and you may end up forgetting her forever. Find her, find her, find her! Where am I? I don't recognize this place, but it feels familiar. This is where you will find her. Your memories of the past. Through the school, through the school gates. It's quad, the classroom. Follow what you remember. You will find her at the end.
Active heal and then illusions. Got the sharp pen. Um, just trying to bait. Yeah, we could just two hit this. No, I can't attack. Interesting. Oh, because I have unlocked the ability. It resets it. Okay, never mind. I didn't notice that. Yep, so we gotta do this the old fashioned way. Who do I wanna kill? Well, I need to kill things to start clearing the field to get more. Ooh, steel rulers. A stool of suffering and reprimands. It's a grief skills no more than decoration. Any damage will kill the illusion, so I'm not too worried about that. I want to technically take that out because that's four damage that would come in. If I'm interpreting this correctly. <laughs> I need to take this out before this gets out of hand a little bit. I don't need to worry about the heal too much. And we have another steel ruler coming in. Okay. 4-4. Four, four. And that's the win. Apple. This is when you first met. This is my 12 in the library. Nostin fought an apple for lunch, eyes open. You look up and see her. I can see her. She's trying to eat an apple. The library is so quiet that everyone could hear. Her face flushes crimson, matching the apple. And remember, she's trying to eat without making too much noise. And then she took the first bite. The first bite. Reflections of sunlight dance on the table. A slow bite like oil flowing on a canvas. You were entranced. When I came back to my senses, she was already gone. You take an eyeball. Now I can choose. Power of new weapons plus one. Void eyes. Radial eyes. Tax deal one damage of threats adjacent to the target. Use of new weapons plus one. So... I see advantages to all of them. Obviously, having weapons longer is fine. But that's only if they change the rate that they give us weapons. In that situation, then, weapon power would be better because it means you could possibly rush down the, the inner demon faster, too. But if they throw a lot of illusions out, then the adjacent damage thing is... It's just... It's technically plus one damage. Possibly plus two if you consider it, which is more than the Void Eyes. So... There's more tactical uses to the Radial Eyes, I'm, I'm gonna say. Ruminate. When the deck deals a card, this card gains one power. I'm assuming that doesn't count on the first turn you appear, then. I don't need the spray, I just kinda leave you there as a... a thing. Clear the field, take the sharp pen. I can just kind of leave the spray there. Um, I don't necessarily need to attack this yet. We have like seven turns on that, and then four turns on this. Okay, and then we have a turn to grab this. I think I will take this out now. And then... Eh, we have time. We put us... Yeah, this is better. Two cards gone. And then I'm just going to... Well, actually I'm going to damage this. I can grab the, have time to grab the ruler. Because I don't want to like attack this just yet. Do a little switcheroo. Switch you out. Because it's going to reset the uh, field. We carry the weapons we take for like every phase. Workbook. Ah, this is an interesting story. A piece of candy in my workbook. She put it there for you. 
because you use lightning as a sword to break Eula's shield. Shattering Cartesian coordinates in an instant. So from the riddle of the Arabic numerals. Over formulas we dueled and I beat her. You became friends. Now the mouse options are... Mouth coin. Drag your mouth to a weapon to increase its uses by one. Hysteric mouth. Drag your mouth to your heart to restore health by one. That's for healing. And drag your mouth to a fret to deal one damage. I still like the combo they gave us from the start. Because I haven't seen the use of... It depends if the meta changes whether or not these other ones become useful. Because, for example, like, if you don't see many, like, one health enemies, like, or illusion ones, then this is useless. For the most part. It can be useful to, like, maybe, like, weaken up a bunch of things to put them in kill range. I might want to experiment with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment with that. I'm curious. No, see, like, if you use the, if we use the attack mouth, we could just take that right out. Bam, bam. Everything's in kill range. Or, let me try something here. Actually, this might be much better than I thought. Can I keep stacking this? Ho 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 ho! I think we can! Okay, and then attack. Now we have it. We don't even need to grab that steel ruler, by the way. <laughs> Take this out. We do have leeway here. Okay, let's attack the main. We'll take this out. Now we have leeway. Although it'd be quicker just to grab this, to be honest, in this situation. Right. Bam. Bam. Yeah, that worked out better than I thought. Because it's just because of the timer thing, essentially. Well, it only worked great because I already had the weapons in my hand. If your hands are clear, then obviously that's not going to work combo wise. Brick wall memory. It was pitch dark by the Jalilin River at night. The Bakoda atop a faraway hill, wrapped in lanterns, seemed to float in the midnight sky. I was walking along the shore. And she had balanced on the brick wall, with one hand near her shoulder. Like children skipping class enjoying the riverside breeze. Silent time, beautiful and brief. Item stack. Choose. Staples, infinite use. I'm turping alright. Oh no, maybe that's how many uses it has. Combo of plus four. Deal damage an additional four times. I'm not quite sure how they want me to interpret that. This card eliminates a fret. Your heart recovers two health. Eh, don't need that. It can only heal. Purify. When this card damages a fret, increase target's action timer by triple. I'm a little bit curious about the staples item. Does it mean it, do, it does four damage, or... Here, make me drop a ruler here. Um, well, here, let's try attacking the main four. Huh. Look at the damage numbers coming out. It's gonna wipe the whole field. Five. Hold up. Okay. How did that... I'm still not quite sure what this thing is doing. But it's doing a lot. Just stack it up! Bam. Pink letter memory. You're going to find her, she's close. We seem so happy together. Where all this pain come from? You will see soon. 
Such things can't be rushed. I don't believe you. The joy outweighs the pain. Then I ask you this, do you really remember her? Your happiness is just as deep as your sorrow. And her picture. This is her. A photograph. Her name. Her identity. It is all here. Do you remember now? She has left you forever. Reality took her from you. Time took her from you. Death took her from you. She will stay that age forever. Her departure is a source of your suffering. Knowing the truth, you wake up. With memories full of pain, you find yourself made out of hands. Her memory. This is how she is in your memory. Gone forever now, she will ever be. A vague memory, a vague vision of her. She left, leaving you with endless pain. I remember everything. An old photo. Engraver into your memories, out of these hands you will find eternity. But I'm miserable. She deserves to be remembered. She's not just one person, but many, many people. You should forget her. It is the only rational choice. Impossible. You'll never get her, and you will never find relief from a cycle of pain. Instinctive thought. You have to make a choice. Forget her and go back to being normal. Remember her in these hands of your destiny. Forget her and I become a hollow shell. Remember her and I become a monster. A hollow shell or a real monster. You must make a choice, my friend. Fence block some of your damage, one. Hmm. It's effectively like it just had free health. Yep. I mean... Well, we need to clear out the field to get more cards. Yep, that's what I need. Keep this here in case I need to kill this. Thank you. Can now for to attack that. Take this racer, take you out. Should with a sharp pen. Take you out so you can grab the first ruler with plenty of time left to spare. Thank you. And then the sharp pen. Her voice. Here, her voice echoes in your mind. She affects your thinking. You can't focus. It's her. It's her. You have to forget everything about her. Again, I need to think. Give me some space. You take an eyeball. Timing eyes. Attacks delay the action timer of threats by two. I'm trying to be if the coin eyes work the same way as the mouth? Or is it just like you grab an item and it's plus one? Well, the mouth is like you can activate it to make plus one. The reason the mouth was so strong is you can abuse the timer on things to um, just keep spamming it. I'm still going to take radio eyes. I, I just like the ability to clear the field if there's like a lot of weaklings, or like, for example, the one defense. It depends if the one defense nullifies it to zero damage or not. So... Let's take you out and watch. Yeah, it completely nullifies, so that means radial eyes are not good anymore, actually. Yeah, you gotta take that one out. Okay, we're in a little bit of a spot here, actually. There we go. Okay. Um, we have room to, um, do stuff. 
Don't want to activate that quite yet. Um, we're probably going to take damage to this. I actually messed up. I was supposed to attack this. And then... Yeah. Right now, it's because right now it's going to come in and do 5 damage. But that's, that's just how it's going to be. In that case, I might be better off just blitzing. Let's see. Yeah, 4 damage. Or I could have attacked and lowered the damage completely. Nah, that's fine. Okay. And... Switch this out. Thank you. Clear the field. Her smile, memory. Her shadow lingers in your mind, wearing you down, greeting against your thoughts. Pain leaves an eternal mark. The beauty comes pain. But it's still a precious memory. Devil's Mouth. Drag your mouth to a weapon to increase its power by one. Hmm. Hysteric Mouth. Drag your mouth to a weapon to mute your pierce. Attacks ignore the target's defense. Well, but is the defense just one damage, or is it like half? Let's try the Devil's Mouth. I want to see if we can do something a little silly with that. Oh no, okay. So they, they scale it up. Interesting. There's a Confused 8 here. So... We would need... This is any damage. That'll weaken that one a little bit. Make that one a little stronger, we can kill it though. But then I have no weapons. And that's what I needed. Kinda need to get this under like control right now. But you see, yeah, see the, the radial damage actually um ended up being more useful than it seemed. Does this increase it? I'm gonna let us wait a little bit. I have like leeway here. Okay. And then we'll take you out. Yes, yeah, so it makes the weapons under it stronger too. So it's actually, um, it's better than it looks. So you can figure out to keep stacking this. I'm gonna boost this up as much as I can <laughs> in preparation for the next stage. Her smell, memory. She laid the bait. It was she who attracted you while keeping a certain distance. She's also my memories from time to time and it hurts. You seem focused. You have caught her. From a distance, but she really does exist. She made me miserable, but she made me feel alive, too. Food scraps, screwdriver, and staples. Ignores target's defense when attacking. I know the staples were like a little funny. So I want to see something here. So like see, right? This is gonna block all damage on this one. Does three damage this one. But if I boost it. Two 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 two. It's gonna block all damage because it's not over the uh. One, 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 one. So you have to get past the initial damage just to start doing damage. Wow. Hold up. There's some stupid combos we can start doing here. Now it's doing less damage? Oh. That's a kill. Right there. <laughs> Kaiba. The look in her eyes. It is all an illusion. A pipe dream. Emptiness. I can feel in my dreams. And indulgence. I I can never forget this. Oh, it's beautiful or painful. 
Such a choice will turn you into a monster. Of hands. Flesh incarnate. Existence may have hands. Yeah, see? But at least you'll not be forgotten. End of all this. End. Does not end here. You will live in your memories forever, awaiting your return in bitterness. Even the ocean wind chills the beautiful Annabelle Lee. She will forever rest in a sepulcher by the sea. Even when the underworld sets its claims, Orpheus will find that you at sea. And lead her back to the world of life and light. When the shackles of fate fill the hint of the sails of your mind, the gate between life and death will open for you. You have blurred the lines of reality and inclusion. I know of a choice. Go, she's waiting for you on the ship. Ship? What ship? A spaceship that will bear you to the mother of ship of hands. The mother of ship will take you to a world made of hands where everyone is made out of hands. She, of course, is on the mothership, too. You can be with her forever. If you made your choice, you enter a new world. A little different than the other level transitions. Glimpse of a return. Seeing the street late at night, you find yourself made out of hands. An empty street memory. You open your eyes to find yourself a corporal nightmare standing on an empty street. You look to the sky and see a mother mother's ship sewing away with her on board. I've been left behind. She's gone. What should I do? Such a way to fly. Move too slow and you'll miss her again. Where do I go? Keep chasing the ship down the road and you will find something to help you fly. More importantly, hold on to the illusion. All this is just an illusion, your fantasy. Well, I can see you do not care. Run, row, sprint, keep moving forward. Follow the lights. Do not stop. Your anxiety peaks constricting your heart with thorns or hurting whoever hurts you. Okay. Counter. Instantly cowers attacks upon taking damage. Aww. One dead. Okay. Um, no. Attack here. Attack. Ooh, that hurt. I should have done this a little differently. So as long as they die, they won't counter. Supermarket. Do they sell airplanes and balloons? Even a kite would work. No, just vegetables and snacks. You've been here before with her. She haggles. You hold the groceries. But she isn't here anymore. You gaze at the neon lights and start to daydream. Hey, snap to it. Now's the worst time to doze off. Keep moving. Power new weapons plus one. Using new weapons plus one. Malphus under five, increase all attack damage by triple. 
Ooh, that's interesting. But that, that's a deadly spot. But you can really do some real blitzes with that if you like allow yourself to get that low. Uh, let's go power of new weapons. Increasing their health. Stress speed. This card takes damage more than zero power. Change the card's timer to negative two. Well, first off, let's clear the field. Ooh, yeah. We might actually want to switch out. Um, let's attack this when we have a chance. Attack this. Because we can afford to do that. Heal. Grab the ruler. It's gonna speed them up. Well, it's only gonna do one damage now, which is fine. If we take this out, we're only gonna take one damage in. Okay, that, 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 that's fine. And now I'll just speed the timer of this up. I might switch that card out right there. Or do I? Hmm. No, actually, we have a little bit of time. Not enough to, like, make it where we're completely safe, but enough where we can... clear the field here a little bit. Switch us out. Okay, we're in a good spot. Overpass memory. You run to the top of an overpass and sense the city breathing in the fog of the night. Where is everyone? Everyone is hiding, you know why. This place isn't high enough. The mother ship soars further and further away. Steric mouth. Store health. Weapon increase use. I still like the weapon increase use one. The devil's mouth did allow us to do some stupid combos towards the end. They might still be able to do stupid combos, so... It's a toss-up. Stupid combos. So I'm gonna take this out while I have the chance. Okay. Um, we we can afford to take that layer. There's an enemy coming right behind him, by the way. So I'm gonna grab this heal because the weapon's gonna come behind this one. Thank you. And now we'll clear you out. Ooh, six damage. Oh boy. Oh boy! I'm trying to think of the best move here next. Four. It's gonna lower the cooldown on that, then it's gonna expire. I need that weapon though. I need it really bad. Yeah, I'm grabbing it. Can theoretically pump this up. No, I won't be pumped up enough to, uh. I can get it down to like one damage. Which could be useful. Well, actually... Six. It's gonna lower the speed of that one, and then this one has to come in and kill that one right there. Yeah, I have to attack it now. Ouch. Kill this. I can kill this. Grab this. Grab that, because that's a weapon coming in anyways. No, I actually can afford to um, get this really going. No, this is better, but it's gonna spawn an enemy. I don't necessarily need to fight that enemy yet. It gives me just that much more time to... Uh, bam. Take you out. Take the... No, I'm better off doing this. Because there's more uses. See? And then I can start... Start putting out some damage. Finally on this thing here. I'm gonna keep that enemy delayed there. I'm gonna take you out. 
plus four. Now you're as strong as a sharp pen. Take you, because your turn's gonna go up anyways. Now you're five damage, and we can theoretically win. One attack. Now we do have some turn leeway to buff these up. So I'm gonna prep these ahead of time for the next turn. We basically have like three turns before this separate thing is gonna attack. Okay, and let's go. Train station memory. Your feet now bearing thumbs carry you for the train station at dead of night. Memories flood your mind. It's used to see you off here. A rumbling train took me far away. By the time you returned, she was already gone. This place you bid adieu. A place of sorrow. Don't stay. Don't stay here. Permit. I get like a passport or something here. When this car eliminates a threat, it becomes a more powerful weapon with four uses. One use. How much powerful are we talking? Because I can make the staples literally a one-hit kill in the <laughs> thing. This one has less uses, yeah. Mm. We may want to start eliminating these, though. Because... Here's the thing, a lot of damage, like a lot of damage is going to come in. You know, we do have leeway. We can boost you. Oh, I see why. It, it just shows you, I thought it was like overflowing the damage, but it's just like, oh, it's going to get a kill. It doesn't, it doesn't bother us with the rest of the combo attack. So to get you dead... Now, how much damage are we doing? Oh, one more. One more. <laughs> it's over, Kaiba! That, that combo is just too good. <laughs> the shape in the sky has almost faded from you. No one is here. The dark of night compels your loneliness. A place where you can soar into the sky remains elusive. When I do, what do I do? Look up ahead. Your last hope. The end. This is it. She was here before. A happy place. A beautiful place. A place where you can fly. Flying. Don't stop. We're going in. Lost in your dreams, you make your way to the theme park. Yes, yeah, Staples is, um... Staples is just too good. Staples for the theme park, you find yourself made out of hands. A giant space rocket stands at the center of the theme park. You enter the rocket and try its control panel. The park lights illuminate, but the ship refuses to move. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Look towards the empty sky and sink into myth. And we lower one damage now. Heart's shielded. She's gone. I can't catch her. Maybe she isn't. Don't get discouraged. This is all an illusion. Fantasy, I get it. She's only changed. Become one of the stars. You're sitting in a plaything for children. Need to fly to the sky. You know that is impossible, do you not? You just miss her. Why can't I fly? Why can't you fly? You have a chance, you just can't do it. I'm gonna shoot you hot from damage. All I can do is just suffer. But it's just gonna shield the damage anyways. Hallucination. This world does not exist. 
Let me know about any damage. Ooh, that's a lot of damage I would theoretically come in. Evolve. When a threat with higher power is dealt, this guard gains one power. So that means it's going to be a three once I grab this ruler? Hmm. Well, do I eliminate this or do I eliminate that? I'm still kind of... Okay, now it's evolving. Take you out. Take you out while I have the chance. This is evolving, so I'm gonna take you out too. Grab the steel rulers, because we don't have anything to do like crazy combos or anything. Um Yep. Grab the ruler. I still have room to attack stuff. I mean, it'd be only two damage, or well, actually one damage. I, I literally could just ignore you. Or I could just take no damage. Sharp pen, take you out. And I'm gonna attack the... Okay, there's a racers coming in. Um... It'd be inefficient to attack that. But... Sure, why not? Take this one out. Okay. Actually, I didn't have to. I was right. I was freaking like, why did I say that was inefficient? Like, oh, that's why I said it was inefficient. Never mind. It's not a big deal, it didn't really matter in the big picture, but... Sometimes I remember a strategy, sometimes like I think of a strategy and I just forget it right away. Um, Parts because this game is not very difficult at all. So like, I don't really need to necessarily think that far ahead most of the time. And then we swing at the theme park. Though faint, you can see. Memories of you and her talking in the dark. When sound falls, you can hear the rustling of the leaves. So... Generally, when I play games, like, I always kind of scale how much I think to conserve, like, energy. It's like, oh, it's really easy. You don't necessarily need to think that hard. You make some mistakes, you know, it's like, whatever, there's no, like, no consequences. Attacks deal two damage to the threats adjacent to the target. Attacks hit twice. Ooh, but there's a lot of illusions. But, does that mean if I get the staples, doubling eyes is going to make that thing do a whole lot of damage? Or does it mean I consume two cards? If I consume two cards, it's not as good. Okay. Oh no, it was good. It was a good reason I chose that. Because that's the new gimmick, and it counters the new gimmick already. Alright. We have eight turns on the illusion. The evolve is pretty strong, though. But essentially, um... We need to start, yeah, attacking things now. Because they're going to become a mess pretty soon. I kind of like, need to get this field under control. And then afterwards, it's gone. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Four damage. I should start getting some damage in. Okay, and then attack this, take the illusion out. Steel ruler's coming in. I'm gonna leave that there for a little bit longer. I'm gonna make sure you're in kill range. I need to actually start eliminating these. So I have time to grab the ruler afterwards. Cause this ruler... Don't worry about that. It's going to... Do a hilarious... Amount of damage. I do want to grab this ruler, so I'm going to kill this. Because this ruler is nice and fresh. Along with this sharp pen. Bam. And then this is going to get the kill here. Fireworks. 
Fireworks explode with their light twinkling as it fades. Though faint, you can see. Memories, time moving too quickly. Beneath the fireworks, she and you gaze up to the sky. Level 2 Devil's Mouth. Increase power by 2? Increase uses. The increased use thing is more useful now, especially with the double attack. But I like doing, like, stupid stack combos. Like, that's the true card game stuff. So, for example, 8 damage. Um, how much we need? We need to get, we need to get this to, like, to plus 15. <laughs> 6 damage. So, that's gonna do 12 damage on a hit. Wait for it. 8 damage. Oh, look at this. We're getting a little bit stronger. That means... We got a kill. Although I have an empty hand here, that could be dangerous. The Ferris wheel spins slowly. The thing you can see. Memories, time moving slowly. Playing barefoot together. That's what we got here, watch. That's watch is a new item, and I think pliers might be. When your mouth devours another card, card gains four power. Interesting. Actually, that actually can be... You can get some stupid damage with that over time. Especially with the, um, the Devil's Mouth and everything else, blah blah blah. Watch, Sacrifice. When this card attacks a fret, your heart takes one damage. So that one is because it's six damage off the bat, that's why it's doing that. But I want to see... I want to see the plier. We have some turns. Eighteen. A little more. We're just gonna take that hit. It's gonna be fine. That's twenty-two. We'll kill us in two turns, basically. The bells and clock tower ringing. The time has come. Let us return home. I refuse. I want to fly to meet her. And into the void. The Devil's Mouth combo is just too strong for the endgame. You cannot do it. You slam your fist into the rocket's control panel. It doesn't budge. This is just a plaything for children. No, don't ask me it. Abandon hope. None of this makes sense. No, here and now, everything makes sense. I can find her again. She's always been in my mind. She never left. The Void. The theme park lights begin to fade and the bell tower rings out again. Fireworks erupt underneath your seat and the rocket takes flight. The voice of your mind grows sullen as you gaze to the endless sky and so towards illusion. She is there too. To find her, you embark on a new... journey. If you're playing the full version of Cylinder Velmont, stay tuned. This is just the beginning. So that's it for the demo of Out of Hands. It seems like it's a story about loss. O on the surface, though, there could be a darker backstory and undertone to that. Especially with the hands theme. But it's a very creative, at least visually, the concept, the way it's kind of like integrating the story and the gameplay and everything. Like, it's not a complicated card game. It's pretty easy, especially when I was abusing the uh, the damage stack stuff. Although you can only kind of do that towards the final rounds. If you can't tell, I like risky all-in moves in card games. Like, I, I'm the type that purposely runs less competitive decks just to have, like, those silly anime-style combos you can sometimes do. Because to me, life is boring winning all the time. It's more fun to win, like, interestingly. But yeah, like I said, I think it's, it's very promising. It's not scary or anything it, it is under the horror tag like it does list itself as a psychological horror even in the description um but I, I can see the horror it's not like you know here comes the big monster scary horror although we don't know what the finale is gonna be or like the climax because like this is only 15 percent of the game as it says there is definitely more and I, I see some screenshots of uh even some inner memories that look a little different than what we thought but just the way the hands kind of look and like, it gives like a little bit of a gross feeling, right? 
So I can see that it's almost like a little body, uh, a little more leaning in the body horror realm than like psychological. But yeah, looking forward to a full version. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play the Out of Hands demo. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.